Hello everyone, welcome back to Breakage Barriers. My name is Blessing, but you can call me Lady B. So let's get into this. And this is about the woman. A woman is a special being. She's special because she represents the earth or the farmland where fruitfulness happens. And that's why there's a reference to a woman being the mother earth because she's representative of procreation, motherhood, a nurturer, a caregiver. Without the farmland, without the earth, without the mother earth, the seed is unfruitful. The seed does not have a location where to be planted. So the place of a woman is unique and special. It's extraordinary. So as a woman, you can be termed as one of the most valuable, just as we have the land. Without the land on the earth, then there might be nothingness, vagueness, unfruitfulness, unyielding, absence of life. It's a great opportunity to be a woman as its representative of life. So as a woman, do not allow anyone else to tell you otherwise that you're just there to reproduce. You're much more than that. You are a life giver. You are a nurturer. And there should be nothing else to prove it but just as you are. Because as a woman, you are more than enough. You are complete. And your purpose as an individual woman is unique to you. For this fact, as a woman, you do not have to be otherwise. You do not have to prove strength. So there is no need for a woman to want to replace the place of a man because you are represented of a life giver. There are cases whereby some women, because of their traumatic experiences, having to fight through subjugation and oppression as being a physical woman, have come to a place of proving to be a man in terms of attitude, in terms of relationship, and in terms of being a provider as well. Because there are some women, depending on their own individual experiences, they do not have a man there to protect them. They have to do it all by themselves because there's no representation of the male protector in their lives. And that's understandable. Where we shouldn't miss it is losing this, the aspect of being a woman, being the queen. And societal pressure adds to it as well, especially in this era. And depending on what part of the earth you live in, in some parts of the world, a woman has to fight extra hard to be able to put food on the table, economically provide for themselves, and if they happen to have children, provide for their children as well, which can be extremely difficult because of the discrimination against women around the world. And we see some women being pushed by pressure, societal pressure, to do things that they are not supposed to do, especially with their bodies. As a representative of a woman myself, I give the encouraging words, woman, do not lose your womanhood because it is unique just to you. It is what defines your gender, not you completely, but defines your gender. And you need that gender to be able to fulfill your true purpose here on it. Remember, regardless of the situation you find yourself as a woman, you're first and foremost a queen. You're a queen woman. Do not lose sight of that because you need that composition of that womanhood to be fulfilling of purpose here on it. Don't lose your spirituality as a woman. It's all part of what makes you you.
Thank you very much for watching and listening. Do take care now. See you next time.